Hello guys, so I'll be showing you how to install graphic mods for your GTA 5 Enhanced Edition. Now, not all graphic texture mods are going to work, but some will. So this is just for like testing purposes and stuff. But one of the mods that I tried and converted actually did work in the game. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first things first, you're going to need um, script hook, right? So you're gonna open script hook. The only thing you're gonna copy and paste is the script hook file. So I'm gonna extract the latest script hook version for GTA 5 and ads. Go to bin, and the only thing you're gonna copy and paste is script hook v.dll and the args.txt file to prevent being banned from online. So you drag the script hook and you're gonna drag this file here. Now, the next thing you're going to need is open RPF. This is going to, this is for you so you can use the open IV, right? So you're going to extract this one. Click yes to all. Open it. And you're going to copy and paste the, ASO, the ASI loader, which is the sound RDL in the open RPF.ASI file. And you're going to copy and paste it here. So now you have the latest script hook and you have the D sound ASI loaded along with the open RPF.ASI. So you can work with the open IV. So what you're going to do now, and this is where you're going to use open IV. You're going to rename your GTA 5. Actually, not rename it, but copy and paste it. And then rename this. It's a GTA5.exe. That's all. Now, once you have this, this is when you're going to use OpenIV. And there you go. Now that it's opened, you're going to go to tools. You're going to go to ASI manager. And then you're going to install openiv.asi, which is the ASI plugin in order to create the MOS folder. You won't be needing this after you convert your Grand Auto 5 mod and when you're done with OpenIV um, application. So click yes, click close. And now you're going to leave this open for the time being. Now it's time to convert the graphic mod into your GTA 5 Enhanced. So the graphic mod that I downloaded and I'm going to convert using Enhanced Converter is the Last of Us Part 2 Blood mod. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract the file to the desktop. All right. So it's extracted. You're going to open it. Open The Last of Us Part 2 Blood. Open. And this is the OIV file that we're going to convert, right? So in order to do this, you're going to extract here, right? You can extract it here. And these are the files here, right? So I'm going to open up Enhanced Converter. Simply click the exe and then search for the file that I extract the OIV from. So I have to go to desktop, The Last of Us, Part 2 Blood, Odd. And you're simply going to click, you're simply going to click the folder itself. And these are all the files that's been extracted from the OIV. You're just going to click the folder because it's going to, because the enhanced converter is going to detect all the files automatically without having to carefully select anything. All right, so click the folder that you like, turn to the zip file, extract it, and then you're going to put it to another folder. It's going to automatically put it to a folder that you're going to create it to the desktop, which is a new folder, which is here. I already created it, but I'm going to delete it, delete it again. So this is the new folder. 
you're going to create custom output folder and you're going to start a conversion. Now that all files have been converted, you're going to leave this here for feature reference or for a for notes to see which files you want to copy and paste. Right, I don't really need to look at this because I can just look for a copy and paste and convert it from there because I've done it already. So what I'm going to do now, this is the new converted files here that's been, you know, extracted and converted into the desktop, into this new folder that you created from the enhanced converter. So these are the files that's from the GTA 5 blood mod. That's the first blood mod that I converted. Go to desktop. This is the last of us part two. And this is what you're going to do now. You're going to copy and paste these files within the OIV um, file, not the folder. The folder was used to extract it in order to convert it. Now you can just simply open the OIV um, file here. And then here's the magic. And this is how it happens. So I opened it. And then I just simply copy and paste it where it was located, the new converter files. So first I copy and paste it assembly.xml. That's been converted. Copy and paste icon.png. That's been converted. You open content. You open these random folders here and see what contains it in order to copy and paste and convert it. You copy and paste the blood fx stat. Go back. Copy and paste the, the calls or decals or have you pronounce it. That's been converted. Pet damage. Converted. You can look for the FX. Decal. Converted. Look for liquid FX, which is here. Convert it, and then you're going to convert the placeholder here. Copy and paste it into within the OIV file. Yeah. So now everything has been converted. You could close, you could close, and now it has been transferred and converted into the GT5 enhanced edition. So now what is that? When is that? When it's done, you close it. Open up here, click tools, you go to package installer, and then you install the OIV mod. Here, and then you click install. You install it to the blood, I mean to the mod folder. Installation succeed, close, you click close. Now you have to go back into your GTA 5 enhance and you're going to delete the GTA 5.exe and click and delete the openiv.asi. You're going to delete these in order for your enhanced, enhanced edition to launch because these files, the openiv.asi and the GTA 5.exe is actually the old version, not the old version, but it's thinking that it's trying to launch the old game from the ASI loader, but it's completely like different. So now you no longer need these when you have the open RPF.ASI and the latest ASI for your GTA 5 enhanced in order to launch the game. So always delete your GTA 5.exe and delete your open IV ASI so you can, you know, launch the game without any problems. So that is how you do it. That is how you convert graphic mods into GTA 5 Enhanced Edition.